is going guys? Chester here and today we'll be talking about the tips of Fortnite. So first what I want to talk about building. So many noobs think that you know turbo building is bad, you'll waste mats, but always always turn on turbo building. And I know recently there was a glitch of iPad where you like, can't turbo build. But they patched that. Now Turbo building is really important because when you're switching between your, you know, structures, you don't want to press again, so you just hold down your mouse button. Now, the second clip is that you should always play Claw, because I have a smaller version of the iPhone, so I really can't play Claw. But if you do play on an iPad or a big iPhone, you should always play Claw, because, you know, relatively people put that play Claw much better than people who use thumbs like me. But I guess I'm an okay player. You know, comment in the comment section. And the third tip is always be aware of your surroundings. If you're not aware of your surroundings, then you're pretty much, you know, like you're dead in real life. Like, if you're aware of surrounding and you can hear the chest, so you just go grab the chest. If you can hear footsteps, make sure you build. Because if you, if you build, you always have advantage on him. Because if he starts shooting you, you have protection and he won't. Alright, the fourth tip of how to get better at Fortnite Mobile is you have to land in populated places when they start. Because see, like many people they want to go for wins and they think that that's gonna impress like someone. It's really not. See like Ninja, do you ever see him land like um like outside of the map, you know, like where it's not populated? No. He always lands tilted. That really helps him practice. So if you land tilted and stuff like that, that really help you practice your shooting, building. Now all your techniques. And the fifth tip is to always know which weapon is better for you. Just get a good loadout. See, for example, in here I'm doing the one gun challenge. That's why I'm doing the one gun. But if you're not doing the one gun challenge, you can use any gun. I suggest you put a SMG in the front, and then put a shotgun secondary, and then put your AR. The last two slots you can either use it for medkit or, or shield. Or you can use it for sniper and shield. I like to use it for sniper and shield just in case. And the sixth and final tip is you have to know what your enemy is doing. For example, you have to know if your enemy have a pump or AR so that you know how to deal with them. See in this clip, I knew he had a pump and AR, so I didn't really want to mess with him. So I decided to go under the stair and laser him for a second. Now he had more health than me. But then I broke the stairs so he would fall down. And he and somehow he missed his pump shot. Which is really lucky. And yeah, that's how I got the kill. And also in in this clip right here, you should never do what this guy's doing. Hiding behind car. You should always build around you when you're trying to heal. That way people can't like shoot you or snipe you. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like or a comment. And if you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.